Hey everyone, this is Mike from MikeThe96.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, speeds of the different connection types on the iPhone 5. Uh, and so those speeds we're going to be taking a look at are the Wi-Fi radios, uh, both the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz radios. And we're also going to be taking a look at the 3G and 4G LTE radios in the Verizon CDMA iPhone 5. Uh, so right now we are connected to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. We're going to head over to the speed test .net application and we're going to begin a test. So we pinged at 67 milliseconds. Download speed is 16.18 megabytes per second. And upload speed is 0.99. So let me write those results up on the board. And please keep in mind uh, that these results uh, mostly reflect uh, the results, uh, the speed, rather, of my home internet service uh, and also my internet service provider. And so therefore, they don't really accurately depict uh, what the iPhone can do uh, because everyone's home uh, internet service is going to be different. Okay, so now that we have our results for the 2.4 gigahertz network, let's go ahead. We're going to switch networks. First, I'm going to close out of the speed test app because I've been having a little bit of trouble with it today, some instability. And we're going to switch over to our 5 gigahertz Wi Fi network. I'm going to reopen our speed test app and run another test. So this time the ping was at 64 milliseconds, so it was a little bit faster. Our download speed was at 14.91 megabits per second, so a little bit lower uh, than our 2.4 gigahertz network. As you can see uh, before, it was 16.18 on uh, the uh, 2.4 gigahertz network, uh, so it was a little bit lower. Uh, and also the download speed was, or upload speed rather, was a little bit lower at 0.89. So let's just write those results up. So we pinged at 64 milliseconds. That's a terrible four if we do that. There we go. Uh, download 14.91 and upload was at 0.89. Uh, but, you know, we shouldn't be too concerned that uh, on the 5 gigahertz radio, the speeds were a little bit lower. Uh, the point is, they're pre still pretty fast, uh, and like I said, these results really only reflect the uh, speed of my router. You know, the, the speed can only be as good as my ISP and my router. Uh, so my router is broadcasting the difference between the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz networks. Uh, so it's up to my router, really, uh, what the speed is. Not so much the radios in the device, uh, but the 5 gigahertz should definitely be faster than the 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, so it just it could just be congestion within my network uh, that's causing the lower speeds. Now it'd be a, a different story if the 5 gigahertz was significantly slower than the 2.4 gigahertz. So we're going to go back to the iPhone again, and this time we're going to test the uh, mobile data radios. So we're going to turn Wi-Fi off. And I'm going to turn cellular data on. And first we're going to uh, leave LTE off. So that's going to connect us to uh, 3G. And we'll go back into the speed test application. And we will begin a test. So this is testing the 3G speeds on the iPhone 5. Our ping was uh, significantly higher than Wi-Fi speed, which is expected at 168 milliseconds. Download so far seems to be uh, significantly slower, which also is expected at 0.38 megabits per second. And upload uh, is also a lot slower than Wi-Fi at 0.59. So I'll write those results up on the board. And it's expected that uh, 3G is going to be significantly slower than uh, Wi-Fi. But what I'm excited to see 
is how uh, 4G speeds compare to both this and to the speeds of a Wi-Fi connection. Uh, many people have found that their uh, 4G internet uh, that they get on their phone ends up being faster than uh, their Wi-Fi speeds. So going back on the phone, this time we're going to test, uh, this is our final test, we're going to test 4G. So we're going to enable LTE. So uh, now we are connected uh, to Verizon's LTE service, which is uh, advertised as 4G internet. And so we will go and uh, run the speed test yet again, one final time. So our ping was at 87 milliseconds. Our download speed is 18.68, which is already faster than our uh, Wi-Fi download speeds. And our uh, upload speed is significantly faster than our Wi-Fi upload speed at 2.35 megabits per second. So I'll write those results up on the board. So we pinged at 87 milliseconds, downloaded at 18.68, and uploaded at 2. 0.35. I hope you can see those up there, the marker isn't the greatest, uh, but those are the uh, final results of our speed test. So as you can see, the 4G LTE was indeed faster than my uh, Wi-Fi connection. Uh, now, I've ran several tests before doing this video, and I've actually found, um, you know, the results are going to vary based on the time that you do this. Uh, and so I found that the 5 gigahertz radio indeed is faster than 2.4 gigahertz radio, uh, even though this specific instance that we've tested it, we found it to be slower. Like I said, it could just be congestion within my network uh, because it can only do as well as the router is broadcasting. Uh, but uh, the 4G, um, you know, the, the results compared to the 4G and the Wi-Fi uh, has been pretty consistent that the 4G is faster than my Wi-Fi speeds. Um, at least faster than the 2.4 gigahertz. Sometimes the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi speeds like to uh, creep a little above 4G speeds, uh, but for the most part, 4G is faster than my uh, Wi-Fi speed. Especially the upload, upload uh, is consistently faster than my Wi-Fi speed. Uh, and as you can see, it's over double um, of my uh, Wi-Fi speeds. Uh, so there uh, are the results of the iPhone 5 uh, connection speeds. Check out some other of my videos on my channel and at MikeBen96.com. Follow me on Twitter and Google+. Make sure you thumbs up this video and share it with your friends so that they can see uh, the amazing speeds that the iPhone 5 has to offer to them. Uh, and also comment uh, your speeds. Uh, comment uh, what you have found on your iPhone 5. Uh, did you get similar results? Uh, is your 4G internet faster than your Wi-Fi? Uh, leave a comment and let us know. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.